Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play... Widescreen? Game made by electronic artists? Paranomia Presents? Oh, let's not get rid of that. If anybody's played an Amiga 500, they would recognize those mod sort of chiptune things at the beginning of Cracked Games. Birdland Software Presents! What does it present, ladies and gentlemen? Let's play a bit of Shuffle Punk Cafe, shall we? By Christopher Gross in 19, 1989. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got an Amiga emulator working, and I thought I'd visit briefly a few games from my childhood, like Shuffle Puck Cafe. What's the best thing to do with Shuffle Puck Cafe? Well, looking at these, most of these things are actually opponents. Not this. He just spins his eye. The champion is currently Biff Ronch. Let's see if we can become the champion. I'm not actually going to try and be the champion because uh, it's pretty damn hard. So, does this look familiar? Hello, Skip. It's Pong! Yeah, it's Pong! This is an extremely advanced graphical version. Oh, thank you. Of Pong. And this is Skip. Skip is useless. Skip is the worst player in the Shuffle Puck Cafe. And I'm going to kick his ass. He has no skill. No gimmicks. He just lets me score. It's the first to 15. And it is impossible in this game to perfect everyone. You will see if I get that far, which I probably won't. Good chat. So the Amiga 500 was a console that... not a console really, a home computer that my dad owned when we were much younger. They had all kinds of games for it and then uh, we stopped playing him as much and dad sold it for £20. To this day I still wonder why he did that. But uh, a couple of years ago, Dad got back into them, and I got back into them, and I now have an Amiga 500 Plus sitting there that works perfectly. Oh no. Do, do. And this is one of the games that I got with it. Again. And then I collected a few other games that I like that I'll have to show you at some point, but... This is really my first time recording this properly, so anything could happen in the next half hour, but mostly it's going to be Pong. The second opponent is worth the price of admittance with this game. Pretty much the thing at the beginning of the um, Amiga games was that there was practically no game that hadn't been cracked and copied a million times. Nine times out of ten, if you bought a game second-hand, it would have the copied versions of the discs and the actual versions. Which admittedly meant that um, your real actual discs wouldn't get harmed, and we're about to beat Skip. Alright, oh, he's putting up a bit of a fight. Just a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. Good shot. Sometimes he says play again. Now this guy is Vicine. And as you can see, um, yes, Vicine doesn't really know how to play. But we will try and play against him. Vicine is a slow opponent because he just spazzes the paddle everywhere. But he has massive holes in his defense. And this happens. A lot. And that happens a lot when you're fighting Vizine. This one's going to be rather long. Luckily, you can just smash it through his defense every now and again. I get the feeling that th I'm not going to be fast enough with my paddle here. Do, 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 do. Oh, no! <laughs> Straight in the eye! And... <laughs> <laughs> I knocked it in myself. You can do that! Great! Vicine got a point out of my own stupidity. 
You got to hear his laugh, though. Oh, Vicine, please learn to play. Pretty much his corners are very weak. Corners are some of the best places you can attack any of these people. Or just straight in the face! Yeah, he's very poor at defending his corners. It's very poor at playing. Yep, just smash it into the corner every time. I hope I do actually manage to uh, complete this game. That'd be quite awesome, but I've never done it yet. I get to a certain point, and then that's it for me. It's like... I can't get past it. First couple of opponents are easy, though. Nope! Hey! Take that! Aha! I am the master of shuffle puck. I mean pong. I mean shuffle puck. Aha! And no, the pig in that in that scene was not Bill. He is not the champion, although he's pretty close. Oh come on! Ah! Stop laughing at me! And then he cries if you beat him, because he's a crybaby. Right, the opponent for the third one is Vinny. He's pretty much the first okayish player you'll face. However, you can pretty much... He'll pretty much follow where you shoot. He's rather slow, but at least he tries to play. As you can see, just smack. He's on the right, I smack him to the left. Doesn't always work. Don't worry, later opponents just start to cheat. With magic or sorcery or all sorts of stuff. Aha! Take that, Vinny! Ah! Vinny's quite good, to be fair. Not too good, though. I've obviously got much better at this game by not playing it. Or maybe I've just become a master of Pong. Ugh. Well, it's 3-8. I'll let Vinny have some victories. Ah, 9-8. I think Vinny really just wants to be somewhere else. Look at his face. There we go. Hey! Don't know how long I'm going to be recording this. Hey! Two more! And then I win this round! Aha! Duked you! And he sticks his tongue out at you when he wins. Next opponent! Ah, the man you cannot beat normally. Now, Lexan looks good. His defense at the moment is pretty unbeatable. You are not going to get anything past him. Yeah, you, you can't beat him. That's it. You can't beat him. He is unstoppable. 
Look, see? I'm doing everything I can. And he just gets me instantly. Why isn't this guy the champion? Ah! Oh, he's took a drink. Oh, his paddle's got a bit slower. Hmm. Ah. I wonder. Still pretty darn good. Is he unbeatable now? Wow, he's very good. Come on, give me an opening here. Son. Ah! Took another drink. His paddle's going even slower now. May I put a theory out there? Lexon is a bit of a drinker. Perhaps the only way I'm going to beat him is by letting him score points. Yeah, he's getting worse. And slower. Still not able to get through his defense, mind you. Aha! And he's hiccuping. Yep, this man is getting razzed. So pretty much soon. It's gonna take a while, but I think I can go through his defense. God, this guy's tricky. He's still good even when he's drunk. He has some ability to home in on my attacks, doesn't he? Ah! Okay, drunk even more. He must be pretty awful now. Come on. Yes! Okay, I've scored. It's time to catch up. See? Drinking doesn't help you win at video games. It especially doesn't help you win at Pong. That master sport. You know, I wanted to be in the Olympics in 2012. They didn't really listen to me. Come on, Lexon. Yeah, Lexon's pretty much unbeatable until you let him score. This is why it's impossible to get a perfect score on Shuffle Puck. Because Lexon won't let you. You have to let Lexon score so that he'll get drunk so that so that you can score points yourself. The only reason why he's not the champion is because his drinking doesn't let him be the champion. So as you can see now I'm actually getting balls past um, pucks past him pretty easily. Oh dear Lexon, really. Well, to be fair, you're not really paying attention anymore. Yes, he's that good. He plays with one puck, with one hand, and the other hand holding a drink to start with. It's a very fizzy drink. His losing animation's fun. We will see that, because I'm going to beat him. <laughs> it's the closest he's got to a... This game pew has got to a win yet. The later opponents just get very, very silly.
course, eventually my hand's going to hurt from doing this. Aha! Hey, 9-6. 10 six. That little robot. Okay, who else have we got? Oh. Aha! Hey! 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 Alright. Come on! Difficult to commentate over Pong, but I'm trying. Oh, come on! Yeah! Two more points, and Lexon goes down. After this, I will cut off the uh, the video and uh, we'll continue with the next opponent. Oh, here he goes! He'll have a drink, and then he's down for the count. Yeah. Lexan, worthy opponent. Next opponent is Enoch. But he'll be there for another time. So give me a moment, and we will be back with Enoch. Told you he wasn't the last opponent by a long shot. Till then, folks. Until then.